Coming up today on Houston Life, nothing ushers in the holiday season quite like the return of the Houston Ballet Nutcracker Market at NRG Center. It's a Houston tradition spanning 40 years and the one-stop shop for all kinds of retail therapy. We'll share a preview of fan favorites, men's and women's fashions, merchants including timeless pieces for everyday wear. Plus, if you are still making your list and checking it twice, we'll show you the one-of-a-kind handmade goods crafted by a local Cypress couple. And grab your BFF for a lunch date at Texas Kamali Company. How this traditional food with humble beginnings makes for the perfect holiday spread. All on that and more happening today and this special edition of Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Houston Life on this Friday, November 12th, 2021. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. A special cheers because we are coming to you live from the Houston Ballet Nutcracker Market. Cheers. Happy 40th anniversary. Well, this is technically the 40th anniversary redo. COVID sort of messed things up a little bit. But you know what? I got to say, coming into this building today and running into so many fans of the show and old friends, it feels so good to be back. You know, it is so wonderful. Wonderful all day long. I know Wednesday preview party. Yesterday was the first full day in the books. Uh, roughly about 19,000 people came out to shop yesterday. Wow. So they're coming strong today. You know, my mom, this is our favorite tradition. We come here. She is finally back in Houston, Texas. So we came here this morning, 830 when the doors open for a little early bird shopping. But then we headed upstairs for the annual tradition on a Friday morning, which is the Macy's fashion show and lunch. This is an unbelievable fashion event. And I, that runway, Derek, you remember, is 250 feet long. It is a long runway, indeed. It is unbelievable. Such great fashions. There were bold colors, rhinestones, sequins, colors, jewel tones. Everything was perfectly curated to get you through the holiday season. Whether you're going to spend it at home, in your driveway, it doesn't matter. But besides, I love those booties, too. Everything was big, chunky pearls. It was unbelievable. Plus, there was also a little holiday performance to get us all in the mood for the holiday season. I mean, who doesn't love a little dance? Right? Wait, are you one of those? No. Perform oh, that's not you. Okay. <laughs> that is not me. Well, it looks like such a great show there. More than a thousand people in attendance. And uh, even though our viewers have not yet seen your mom, Eileen, she is on the front row and you will be seeing her a little bit later in today's show. So cheers to that. Cheers to that. I know Eileen's going to be making an appearance later today. We will look forward to that. Well, in honor of the Nutcracker Market's big 40th anniversary, the big redo, we thought it would be fun to take a look back at some of our favorite moments we've had right here over the years. That is right. From meeting the merchants to shopping with our moms, we always have so much fun out here at the market. You know what, Derek, it was a tough assignment. We really had to figure out which one of us should stay here and tackle the shopping. I, I'm sorry to you say that it was me. I know that stick. you really wanted to stay. Yeah, you can always text Courtney if you get lost at the market because she knows it inside and out. I know it inside and, and out. It's some things for the job, okay? Yeah. That's just the kind of person I am. And thankfully, I've got my wing woman with me, <laughs> Eileen. Eileen loves some Nutcracker Market, don't you? You're having oh fun, right, God. Mom? Yes, this is my happy place. I know, mine too. Me too. Go get us some champagne. Okay? All right, Come I back. Will. Okay, look at this mother-daughter duo right here. Prosecco, ho, ho. You look just like a Nutcracker. Your jaw moves very, very similar way. Spin it. Let's spin. Go winner, winner, winner. <laughs> Grab your girlfriends, leave your husbands at home. They don't need to know what you're buying and shopping and carrying bags and all that kind of stuff. This is so incredible. I will tell you there is something for everyone here at this market. We are shopping until we drop. I see my mom coming back with some champagne, so I'll see you in about four minutes. Oh my gosh. Maybe Save. longer. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Save a glass for me, Courtney. Have fun out there. Try not to lose your mind, okay? Keep it together. 
I mean, I love the look back. I'm like, I've been practicing my nutcracker moves. You know what? So many of those fun <laughs> moments I had totally forgotten about. I know. It's so good. And I love that when your mom was on set with you as well. That was a lot of fun. Joining us now to share what we can expect at this year's shopping extravaganza, the Houston Ballet Nutcracker Market CEO and friend of the show, Patsy Chapman. It's great to see you, Patsy. Thank you. To be here in person. I mean, what does this mean to have y'all in person? I can't even put it into words. We've been waiting, seems like forever, and it's working, and we have such a great crowd here, and I just feel like I want to cry. I'm so excited. You know, Patsy, this is one of those events where if you know, you know. People who have been here, they understand just how remarkable it is. 11% of the proceeds raised here today go back to support the Houston Ballet Foundation, and to date, the numbers raised are staggering. 75.3 million dollars have been contributed to the foundation. Just how critical are those funds? Oh, extremely critical. They go to support the uh, Academy Scholarship Funds. They help with new productions, um, tons of things at Houston Ballet that we would not be able to do with all that revenue. It's really incredible, the story that has been written over the 40 years, and I know you are such a huge part of this. This is something that everybody works year-round to get this market, and of course, there's the spring market as well. Um, under one roof today, what is it, 260 merchants? I mean, people apply. It's a curated event. This is something that people are thought, sought after to be in. Yes, we usually have about 400 applicants to fill about 30 booths because we have a huge repeating customer base of merchants, and so it's a hard show to get into. People apply for 10 years sometimes before they get accepted into the market. The products really are incredible. That's why we call it a one-stop shop. Talk about some of these local merchants, though, Patsy, because for many of them, Mm -hmm. This is a critical time of year when really they do most of their business. Yes, it's their livelihood. It, you know, it's their career, their job. It's how they pay their bills and put food on their tables. And so they count on the Nutcracker Market for that revenue. And we missed that, of course, the past year. And they were hurt just like the rest of us were. And so we're just so honored to be able to bring all these folks in here today to shop and to support all those businesses. You know, you look out into the crowd, and I have to tell you on this Friday, the crowd is not thinning. There are lots of people here, and I know this is near and dear to your heart. And Patsy, I've said this to you before. You build it, they're going to come. Can you believe this? No. I knew people would come. I didn't think we would have as many as we do today, so that makes me very, very happy. It seems like old times. First-timer tips. I mean, Courtney's <laughs> a pro, so yes. she knows this place like the back of her hand. And I know every single year, because you do have some new vendors coming in, things change just a little bit, but what would your advice be to someone who's coming here for so, the first time? Uh, well, definitely comfortable shoes. Yes. But a lot of people will start at the back and work their way forward to kind of get a jump on the crowd when they come in. Uh, we recommend that people go to the website. You'll find a list of all the merchants and the floor plan there and kind of map out your plan of attack so that you can get to the places you don't want to miss. And don't plan on getting out of here in five minutes. Oh. No. <laughs> That doesn't happen. Listen, we've got all of the event details there on the screen. You see what's happening, what's going on at NRG Center. The market is open until 8 p.m. You see the weekend hours through Sunday. And also ticket information. General admission tickets are $20, cash or check only, at the center. Discount general admission tickets are available at HEB, business centers, or even ticketmaster.com. Everybody, regardless of an age, does need a ticket. A lot of people are wondering, too, Patsy, given uh, the times that we're in, do we need to mask up? Are you showing, what, what's the policy that we have to deal with so people on their way in understand what they're dealing with here? So we are suggesting masks, but we're not requiring them. And one last question, Patsy, before we let you go, because I know you're very busy. Is it me, or are there more bars this year? <laughs> well, there's more bars. And the there bars are, are larger. There are more bars. And listen, if you build it, they will come. <laughs> okay, also, we should point out, there is a check-in area for strollers and any rolling carts. Those are not allowed inside the exhibition hall. And for more information, you can visit nutcrackermarket.com, or you can call 713-535-3231. And Patsy, I lied, I have one more question. 
I know it's probably a tough one. Do you have a, a favorite market memory from over the years? Oh, gosh. We don't have enough time for that. There's so, so many. But my absolute favorite one is my dental hygienist brought her granddaughter to the market for the first time. We, our decor, we had uh, heralding angels lining the main aisle. A choir was singing on the, on the uh, stage. Twinkle lights everywhere. And when her five-year-old granddaughter walked in, she said, Grandma, is this heaven? Oh. oh. That is a great story, Patsy. And it just might be heaven. It is heaven. It's shopping heaven. Absolutely. Shopping heaven. It's our happy place. Congratulations to another successful market. I know this is very dear to you. It is. Thank you for your support, too. Of course. Thanks for having us back. Glad to be here. And we do want to hear from you all, too. What is your favorite Nutcracker Market memory over the years? We asked shoppers earlier, and let's hear what they had to say. Well, um, my family comes to Houston every year from Colorado to spend um, the weekend with me and go to the Nutcracker with me. And the, uh, the last time that we came two years ago, I was pregnant with this little one, and she came on Christmas Eve. So she's a Christmas Eve baby. And now we've got two little ones. <laughs> my fondest memory is the first time I came. I came at 2.30, it wasn't enough time, and I loved all my packages with me. I did not realize that you could drop off your packages in the back. So I looked crazy with my girlfriend, who was also here, dragging boards and teepees and tents all across this place, and we didn't know where to go first, so it was just, it was fun. I look forward to this every year. It's one of my top five days of the year. Getting way too drunk and spending way too much money. <laughs> <laughs> Some happy elves there. Oh, yeah. People get so into it. Head on over to our Houston Life Facebook page and join the conversation. We will share more of your comments a little later on in today's show. All right. Still to come on Houston Life, we are spotlighting some must-visit local merchants throughout today's show. And speaking of local merchants, Lauren Kelly has found a good one that's based in Tomball. Hi, Lauren. Hey guys, you're right, Boulevard is here and I'm gonna show you all that they have to offer with these stompable lights that don't break from their bags, candles, and tons more when Houston Life returns in just two minutes. We are live, you guys, lots of shopping today. today, you guys, from NRG Center. I am so glad. The 40th anniversary of the Nutcracker Market is back, and I have stopped at booth 1851. This is Boulevard, and they have just as many sparkles as I have on. Yes. <laughs> this is Amy Smith. You are the owner, and you're out of Tomball. You guys have everything from home decor, seasonal decor, candles, ornaments, fashion, all of it. All of it. Jewelry, shoes, all of it. And yes. you brought it all here this weekend. <laughs> A lot of it. Yes, ma'am. Well, we teased this coming up. One of your biggest, hottest sellers is the stompable Christmas lights. You have to tell me how yes. this works because anybody with kids or who accidentally steps on Christmas lights, it's a nightmare yeah. because you have to go find the right bulb to fit in or your Christmas tree, that part, part of the Christmas yeah. tree is undone. And you're like, oh, we can add these lights right onto the Christmas tree and not a problem. Seven. Oh, you can step on them, right? Yes. And if you never... <laughs> I'm afraid to. If you never turn them off, seven years they would last. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. So yep. the Christmas lights are just one portion. Let's yes. keep on walking. Yes. So you mentioned the design. Look, you have stocking stuffers right here. You have ornaments, but you also have candles inside of ornaments that I want to point out. If we can get a, a focus on there. It has a little top on it. You can pan in right here. Matt, the photographer, you see these? These are in green and red and silver right here. Yes. Do you make those? We do. We make our own candles at the store. And so this is a fabulous... A scent called Christmas tree, obviously. Oh, that's one of my favorite scents. Holiday. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, so yeah. speaking of candles, you also make another very special kind of candle. Why don't you tell us about this one over here? I recognize the bottle. I know that everybody else is going to recognize this. So, Amy, I see this, this vodka one. Yes. So this is our happy hour that we have poured into the vodka ones, and then we have lots of fabulous, like, whiskey and bourbon. So you've bottles. taken the actual bottles and made candles scented inside of them. Yes, and you you can pick the scent at our store, and it's repurposing. Oh, That's what I love about it. Some of those smells it. like really put you back in some kind of holiday spirit and seasonal moments, right? Yes, and it just makes you want to kind of just 
I don't know. Cozy up and, and have a beverage. Yummy and <laughs> sip some coffee and hot chocolate. And yes. All right. And so the decorations also, we have to mention some of the decor. It's beautiful. The Thank sticks you. you said are really popular this year. Do you make these? I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. No, we don't. But we actually do work to put things together for our clients in our store. So sometimes people have problems putting it together on the tree. So we'll go ahead and we'll put the items together and add the ribbon and the that is such a help because sometimes you just can't you can't get it to look right on your own right exactly <laughs> yeah but I also have to mention your sweater that you have on you have on the naughty sweater but it also comes yeah. in the nice but who wants to be nice because nice is boring mm. yes ma'am <laughs> there's our nice sweater over there the nice too. sweater is hanging you yes. had to model that one though I want to mention for our viewers if they want to find you on Instagram it's at the BLVD boutique is spelled B O U T I K. Yes. So that's where you guys are at. There's tons of fun. Amy, thank you so much and happy holidays. Aww, thank you, sweetie. All right, Derek and Courtney, I got some shopping to do and then I'll head back over to you guys. Lauren, I bought those lights. They are amazing, and I think everybody should get them. They're the coolest things ever. It's so true. Agreed. During your entire hit, yes. Lauren was like, I bought that, I bought that, I bought that. <laughs> Courtney's already been shopping. All right, thanks, Lauren. When we oh, come back, how a local husband and wife team are creating handmade furniture and home goods that will last generations. So beautiful. And later, it wouldn't be the holiday season without some tamales. Did you know you can grab gourmet tamales right here Yum. at the Nutcracker Market? Of course. Of course you can. I'll tell you which booth and where you can find them coming up. And as we head to break, here are more memories from Nutcracker Market goers. Oh, I just love spending time with the girls coming out every year to help support the Nutcracker. Um, it's just a great time, great fellowship with friends. I would say a few years ago, I came with a good friend of mine, and uh, you know the, uh, the little ponies that you can ride? She made a decision that she wanted to ride around the entire conference, uh, this Nutcracker Market on that. So that was probably one of my fondest, funnest memories is watching her have such a good time. I've been coming here for nine years and my favorite memory is just watching all the people just with absolute joy and shopping and it's amazing watching all the people that dress up and put effort into this. Welcome back to this special edition of Houston Life from the Houston Ballet Nutcracker Market at NRG Center. If you're looking for quality homemade goods, you have got to stop by booth 1642. It's called the Rustic Craftsman, created by a local husband and wife team from Cyprus who pride themselves on producing exceptional pieces for your home. Joining me now is Lindsay Krasowski, your husband, John. Did I say it right, Krasowski? Yes, okay, it. close enough. So these homemade goods, these are showstoppers. People may see something like this at a boozy because I know they just bought a bunch of them. Yes. Talk about uh, your process because at your booth here, you have one-of-a-kind items. People have never seen stuff like this before. Well, thank you. Yes, I um, I mean, I do all the woodworking and the waves and all the stuff that you see on the wood is resin. And once I'm done getting the wood ready, they go into a room I mix up the resin, add the colors, and kind of just artistically decorate them. And your products are cutting boards, they're chargers. You have a lot of different items for the kitchen. Correct, yeah. We have serving trays, cutting boards, coasters. We do do wall art um, and custom tables. So dining room tables, coffee tables, all kinds of fun stuff. Lindsay, I think what's so cool about what you and John do, these are everyday items. Yeah. We all use these items every single day. Right. But you've sort of found a really great way to bring more art into the home. Yeah. I mean, especially during COVID when people weren't able to go out and about, they wanted to do more entertaining in the home. Um, it just got really fun to do charcuterie and things like that where you could gather with small groups of friends. And why not put it on something beautiful and, and show it off? You know, I so agree. My producer, Heather, and I were looking at your Instagram page yesterday, looking at the process of how you create these pieces. Take us back to the beginning. How did you and your husband, John, decide <laughs> to start this business? Was it by accident <laughs> or did you plan it? It was a little bit of both. Um, we are the rustic craftsmen because it was my husband who first got into uh, doing woodworking. Um, but he has a full-time job, so I said, listen, teach me how to use the tools, and I can do stuff when you're at work to help our little business grow. 
And um, aside from doing larger tables, I thought it'd be nice to have products that we could ship anywhere. So I started cutting cheese boards and putting waves on them. And the next thing you know, we're more like the Rustic Crafts women. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. And fast forward to today, here at the market, I know, Lindsay, you have so many fans. Uh, you're going to sell out of all of these items. Is that a safe bet? I'm hoping so. I hope everybody comes and gets a piece, whether it's for them or for a gift. Um, a lot of what I sell are gifts for other people. So. They're just unique and one of a kind, and if that's what you're looking for, you should come stop by. They truly are unique. Another reason why we love the Houston Ballet Nutcracker Market so much. You're going to find things for your gift list that no one has ever seen before. So, Lindsay Krasowski, thanks yes. so much. Thank you so much for having me. The Rustic Craftsman, remember that booth, 1642. All right, now we are going to uh, take a little break, but before we do that, we've got a preview of some must-shop women's and men's fashion booths to help keep you on trend this season. And back at KPRC 2, we will be getting a check of what's coming up on KPRC 2 News at 4 o'clock with Keith, Christine, and Frank. That's when Houston Life returns in just two minutes. Don't go away. Derek back with you on this Friday special edition of Houston Life from the Nutcracker Market. We're having so much fun. I literally want to stop by every single booth. I'm going to make time to do that. So why don't we get more of your comments on today's question of the day. We asked, what is your favorite Nutcracker Market memory from over the years? Let's get to some more of your comments. Tootie writes in, going with my oldest daughter and her baby girl, who is now almost 21, going, we have made wonderful memories. Oh, I love that so much. Kayla writes in, going Going with these wonderful friends, we had such a great time. I love that photo, all four of them. And Nancy writes in, my mom and her good friend Cecilia would go every year to the Nutcracker Market. The year after my mom passed, my daughter Callie and I went with her baby boy Ty, our third grandson. We walked straight to the back of NRG and her favorite Christmas carol was playing. I turned to look at Callie and noted a display of teepees for children. Embroidered on one was Andrew, our first grandson, and embroidered on another was Grayson, our oh. second. I felt my mom's presence immediately. It was a celestial moment. We had such a great day. Wow, thanks so much for opening up and sharing those stories. That's that lovely. is so sweet. And you know what that is? That is definitely your angels were with you in that moment. They were little signs and little sprinkles of, of sparkle. And I love that story. Uh, my favorite story is in 2003, my very first Nutcracker Market. I went to the preview party. I got home. I called my mom in Chicago and said, you got to come to this. I bought her a plane ticket that night. She came out on Friday. We went to the market and have been going strong ever since. Every year since then. Yeah. The only time we ever missed was when Connor was born because he was born the weekend of the Nutcracker Market. Oh, well, that's okay. Didn't bring a You get born. a pass for that one. <laughs> I know. So much fun. Well, let's check in with our friends Keith, Christine, and Frank who are standing by in the studio to tell us what's coming up in the news at four. Guys. guys, we are shopping until we drop. <laughs> oh, my gosh. we. I'm so jealous. We're so jealous. And I'm so glad to hear that so many people have some, such wonderful memories and they're making new memories this year mm -hmm. for the Indeed. 40th anniversary. I know that it's been a long time coming. Uh, have a cocktail for us. Do a little shopping for us. Those charcuterie boards were so cool. What's that on your head? So pretty. <laughs> Courtney, what's that on your it's head? It's a fascinator. That's a it's a fascinator um, Christmas It's a present. gift for you, Franklin. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't it's wait. It's a gift for you. <laughs> I wonder I why it. I, was, I was so excited. Sorry, I thought Canada. it was Friday, but it's the fascinator. Yes. <laughs> Seriously, if you went out for brunch and sat outside today and have before you headed to the market, like you're winning today, Frank. Oh, my gosh. Today oh. is amazing. It's beautiful. You like it? Capital oh, yeah. A. Capital A, yes. Um, if you could for, bottle it up. I'm only going to charge you all half. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you know exactly. what? It's going to be a little cooler tomorrow. Uh, okay. uh, today was right there. Look back. Look at these temperatures. Uh, 77, 79, Sugarland 78. 70. That, those are perfect outdoor brunch temperatures with no humidity. If you're headed to the games, take a jacket. We have a reinforcing cold front coming in really in the next couple of hours, and we're temp temperatures are going to fall right into the 50s. That's that's chilly weather. 9 p.m. at 55 and clear sky. It's going to be on the cold side. So get ready. Right now, it's just moving through the Dallas area, so that's where we're finding 
Lansing. In fact, look at Dallas, 68, while we're at 77. Oklahoma City at 56. So you can see that cool air is going to be sweeping in here as we go into this evening. So overnight, I have upper 30s, low and mid 40s. This is 7 a.m. Saturday. So we wake up in the mid 40s and make it only to 68 for a high tomorrow. And then as we go to 6 p.m. tomorrow, we're at 58, 60 degrees. And then heading right on in to Sunday morning, I've got, what, 45, 44. It's going to drop right to the same spots as we go into Sunday. A little warmer Sunday afternoon, but we have a big chill on the way. So making strides against breast cancer, that walk at City Center with Christine, 49 at 8, 58 at 10, and 64 at noon. So a little on the cool side. Coming up at 4, we'll talk more about this cold air. And then when it does warm up, warmer next week, and the next rain chance, I'll have it all. We may even talk about Thanksgiving. Who you knows? Know. Oh, I know, yeah. it's coming. Is that going to be on the board? So wow. it's a pumpkin pie away. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now we're hungry for pie. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, Frank, thank you. And here's a look at some of the other stories we're covering for you at 4 o'clock today. Today could be Independence Day for Britney Spears. A Los Angeles judge is expected to decide the fate of the conservatorship the singer has lived under for nearly 14 years. That hearing is happening this afternoon. We'll have the latest coming up at 4 o'clock. Plus, we've told you about these shortages when it comes to toys this Christmas season, but that is not the only holiday shortage. Shortage we could see this year. Concerns about a shortage of Christmas trees and our Amy Davis will have some tips on how to make sure you are able to get one this year. And we'll tell you about the latest Houston retail space that is giving priority to local vendors. What makes the spot so special? And a look at the big celebration today that was held for the grand opening. These stories and much more coming up today at four o'clock. But in the meantime, Courtney, you enjoy the market for us, my friend. <laughs> Oh, you know, girlfriend, this is my happy place. My mom's coming up in just yes. a little bit as well. We'll see you guys at the top of the hour. Sounds good. Well, if there is one thing the Nutcracker Market does not have a shortage of, it's must-shop fashion vendors. Jeannie Chandler, Nutcracker Market Merchant Chairman, is sharing a preview of what you can find for both men and women. Jeannie, it's so great to see you. Congratulations Thanks. on a lovely market this year. Thank you, Courtney. It's been so much fun, and we're thrilled to have everyone back here, of course. And this is I, wonderful. It really is, and it's so great because when I, I see people, I'm like, what'd you get, what'd you get, what'd you get, what booth do I need to go? So we're going to talk about this next booth, and it's yes. booth number 1471, Cousin Earl. Listen, the first time that they debuted here at the Nutcracker Market was spring Correct. for the very first time, but yes. this brand has been around for a long time. Yes, yes. They're out of Dallas, Texas. It's a fabulous merchant, fabulous merchant. They have... Um, a special line they designed especially for the Nutcracker Market, very exclusive. So you'll see a little bit of everything from fashions, handbags, jewelry. They have it all. And they They're really, really do great. have something. It's kind of like a little boho, chic, but kind yes. of edgy as very. well. Yes. And they've been around, this brand has almost been around as long as the Nutcracker Market, about 38 years. I know I've seen the brand around, but it's so yeah, great it's amazing. that they're here under one roof. And we, here we are giving you a sample of what Cousin Earl has to offer. And let's get started because we've got our first look who's coming up right now our first model and I love this because this is the color of the season yes it is this is Haley and she's modeling one of their great signature looks that they're showcasing this time she has on the faux, faux fur top pa uh, paired with their French Terry Palazzo pants and she's also wearing the same as me the crossbody um, ruched velvet crossbody bag by Livy Lou and it's a fabulous look and very in trend this season it is so cute that bag is absolutely gorgeous I love it the comes colors. In a, it comes in about 10 colors. It's amazing. It is so, so sweet. Thank you so much for that model. And here's the thing, the live television. Yeah. <laughs> I jumped. You are also wearing the fashions as well, Jeannie. So tell me about your outfit. Thank for everyone. I am wearing also one of their exclusive um, collection items for the Nutcracker Market. This wonderful, wonderful tiered crushed velvet dress. It's a wonderful raisin color. Very, very different for the season. And it pairs with everything. Boots, um, flats, whatever you want to do. Also with this crushed a uh, crossbody bag, and I'm wearing jewelry by Livy Lou and La Vie, just a little bit of everything. It is so, pair. so cute. And here's our boho look right here, our third model, and this is Cecilia. This is Cecilia, and she's also wearing a fabulous look. This is also one of their exclusive patchwork faux fur jackets paired with one of their signature T-shirts, and I love the bag. This is their Livy Lou taco bag. Who doesn't need a taco bag? I, I think know. it's awesome. Just a great look. 
It's so cute. And if you don't mind, show us the, the liner of the jacket because it's super yes. cute. You know She's me, I love leopard power. Thank you so much. Again, this is at Cousin Earl, booth 1471. And hopefully we can get a better look at your outfit too, Jeannie, because it is so cute. I love the colors and the pairing. And this is what I love. It's, it's all size range. It's all age range. And somebody can find something here. This yes. is a lovely look. Yes. And they have a great promo code. Go by their booth, 1471. They have a great holiday promo. Go by and see them. They'll give it to you. And if you can't see them here, go to CousinEarl.com or on Instagram at, at Instagram, um, Instagram at Cousin Earl Official. I love an exclusive promo yes. code. You got to stop by the booth. Okay, Jeannie, we're going to toss it over to you and Derek awesome. to take a look at all the men's stuff. Okay, Jeannie Chandler. Listen, people talk about the market. I know women love it. Men love it too. And there's so much for men and boys. Yeah. That brings us to Properly Tied. This is a Mississippi-based brand and they provide comfortable everyday wear for men. They do. He's, his name is Hunter. He started this company when he was 17 and he's out of Oxford, Mississippi. And as you can see, the quality is just amazing and this is his best seller for the holidays his wax duffel canvas bag and paired with a great toiletry dop kit and then his pullover herringbone jacket paired with then also their uh, fleece lined button up shirt jacket they have something for everyone and even for your little men they have a great little jacket a button up vest paired with one of their signature button downs and then socks socks are both go wrong with a vest and a good pair of socks no, you cannot you cannot something for everyone well and you know Very i still know Know plenty of men who pack uh, for trips in like HEB grocery bags. <laughs> Time to upgrade, Time to get upgrade. a nice bag, uh, either for yourself or for the man in your life. Let's talk about the booth. So pay a visit to the booth. They are booth number 1452. And again, as Jeannie mentioned, we've got everything from shirts, polos, outerwear, flannel, mm -hmm. accessories, hats, ties. And for the man in your life who's tough to buy for, Jeannie, this booth, someone can find something for everyone here. Yes, for everyone, both men and little men in your lives. This is the perfect place to come shop for the holidays. And is this the first time we have seen this vendor at the Holiday Nutcracker Market? Yes, it is. And we're so excited to have them here. It's such a great quality, quality product, and we're just thrilled to have them as part of the collection. Well, very nice. Again, stop by Properly Tied. It is booth number 1452. Jeannie Chandler, thanks so much for hanging out. Thank you so much. And PropertyTied.com is also their website. Fantastic. Give them a visit. Thank you so much. And your outfit is very nice. Thanks so much. I'm thanks not surprised you're one of the models. We oh, always oh, love oh. being here. Thanks for having us. Thanks so much. All right, let's toss things out to Joe Sam, who has got the perfect gift for the outdoor enthusiast in your life. Hey, Joe. Hey, Derek, that's right. So we know we have a lot of people who love going outdoor and fishing out here in Texas and especially in Galveston. When we come back, we're going to be talking to a local vendor showcasing this really cool shirt. I'm going to tell you all about it here at the Holiday Market. We have so much to talk about. You don't want to go anywhere. It's time to shop. Welcome back here to Houston Life and welcome back to the Holiday Nutcracker Market. This is a Houston tradition. We're right now at Booth 1530 and this is all about the Red Tuna Shirt Club. So if you have that outdoor person in your life that loves to go and just enjoy recreation outside and loves fishing, this is the booth that you want to be at, especially if you have that husband sitting at home that's looking for something unique. This is the booth that you want to come to because we're talking to Austin here. My man, this is really exciting because you have some really cool products. When we talk about unique items being found here at the market. This is one that I have to talk about in Spotlight. Tell us a little bit more about Red Tuna and why did this business come about? Well, we were started 10 years ago. We're based right here in Houston. It's our hometown. And uh, we wanted to do some fishing shirts that were unique, shirts you can't buy in a store. Mm -hmm. And so we've been selling online for the last 10 years, been growing and have customers around the world. But we're now in our hometown at the Nutcracker, so we're showing off some of these uh, unique products we have. When we talk about the unique products, I have to show you this shirt over here. You're going to explain it to everybody because we have the state of Texas. But if you look a little closer in there, we see fish. Talk about the fish that are in there. That shirt that you see right here represents all of the fish that you want to catch in salt water in the state of Texas. Obviously, we're proud of all the fish we have, all the great fish we have, and we're proud of our state and our flag, so it kind of brings it all together. Absolutely. So we have more than just shirts here because I see other products that people can come and see here when they come to your booth at 1530. Talk about some of the other products that people are been, have been checking out here at the booth. Yeah, definitely. Well, we have our, our hats, obviously, that are uh, really popular. We have a, a pullover here, you see, with the, uh, with the Texas tuna on it. Again, we're proud of our state here and uh, we wanted to be a little bit unique. 
We have t-shirts uh, representing different charter companies. That's mm. what's really unique about us, kind of the way we got our start. So we have shirts here from Costa Rica and Panama and the Bahamas and great locations like that. Guys like me who love to fish dream about going to those places. <laughs> and if we can't do it, at least we can get a t-shirt, right? We can get a t-shirt and imagine that we're there. Yes, now, when we talk about that, we want to also mention for people who can't be here at the market right now, which you're missing out, they can actually join a club and they're going to be getting a special prize each month correct let's talk That's about right. that. Our, our our big business our big uh, holiday gift idea is the red tuna shirt club so you get a new shirt every month from different charter companies fishing lodges around the world so like i said it's uh bahamas or costa rica or all these exotic locations that guys want to go to they get a new shirt each month it's the gift that keeps on giving and it's a shirt that really any fishing guy's gonna like you can't buy in stores and they'll enjoy it all year round oh yeah they just need to bring the fish over back to us so that we can eat now austin you're a local guy but this is not a brick and mortar it's an online store so you have to tell us how does it feel seeing all of the people here that are coming up to you and you're being able to interact with everybody oh look at that they're all excited to be shopping over here how does it feel to be interacting with the customers that are coming here to yeah, check out your product that's been one of the best things about it you know we're in our, here in our hometown my wife's been coming to the nutcracker for 10 years she tells me every year you guys got to come out <laughs> and so we picked our spot and we we jumped in big at the biggest one of the biggest holiday markets in the world as far as i know and it's great to talk to people and and let them see the shirts and and hear what they feel about it and tell them about us so it's been great for us austin tell people where they can go online to check out the products if they can't make it here to the holiday market. Our website is redtunashirtclub.com, and uh, we'd love to have anybody uh, give us a call. You can call our 800 number, and I'm going to probably answer, if not my partner, Scott. <laughs> We're a small business, proud Texas-owned business, and uh, I think people are going to like our products if they give us a chance. Absolutely, and they will, and they're going to be coming here to the market to check them out. I'm going to check out some more of these fishing shirts because I'm going to have to get one for myself and head on out to Galveston. Courtney and Derek, make sure you let everybody know to come to Boot 1530 because this is the place to be right now. We're going to send things back to you guys on stage. You know, I love that they're like, you go ahead and call us. I'm probably going to answer the phone. I mean, it's small business at its best. And it's so true. And yet another reminder that there's great guy stuff at the market as well. I know. Joe, thanks for bringing that to us today. And cheers to you. Happy shopping. And you need to drink up, my friend. I know. You're, you are definitely winning this race. <laughs> We're having the poinsettia, which is... Uh, cranberry mimosa, okay. I think is it's what it delicious, is. delicious, whatever it is. When we come back, whether you want gluten-free, vegetarian, or traditional beef tamales, we're going to show you the must-stop shop to treat yourself after all the shopping. We've got to fill our bellies after we empty our wallets. Working up an appetite, and as we head to break, let's get more of our viewers' favorite market moments. I've been coming to Nutcracker Market for several years now, and my best spending a lovely day with all of my friends wearing our silly little matching shirts and just having fun together. It's the best time. We love coming here. We love the spirit. We love shopping. We love being together. The drinking. Yes. It's a great time. We love the outfits designed by Connie. <laughs> I made the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my fondest memory of coming here is spending time with my favorite people, but also getting packages about six weeks after this because I've had too much Prosecco and I don't remember what I ordered. Cheers! <laughs> Welcome back to Houston Life. My sweet mama's in town. Eileen's in the house! Mom, it's so good to have you here. It's been a minute since you've been at the Nutcracker Market. What's your favorite memory? Oh, my goodness. Uh, just shopping. Yeah, there just you go. Shopping and uh, just being together with you. I know. I Sharing love you so memory. much. I'm so glad that you're here. Me don't too. cry. Me too. Squeeze your butt cheeks <laughs> and don't curse because we're live on television. <laughs> but this is really fun. So we've already had yes. our mimosas today. Yes. We've been shopping, but now we have to eat. Uh, we did eat lunch earlier, but we're ready for a snack. And tasting is believing, folks. We have got gourmet tamales in the house. Shirley Bailey with Texas Kamali Company is joining us now along with our special guest, my mom, 
And we've got another Tex in the house as well. Tamale Tex. Hey, Shirley. Hi there, Courtney. Thank you so much for being oh, here. We're excited. This makes a wonderful, wonderful topping for the Nutcracker market. It really does. And tamales truly are a tradition, of course, not only here, but at so many holiday tables. Yes. We've grown up on eating yes. tamales as well. You guys are booth 1855. Let's talk a little bit about the tradition because you have been in business for more than 30 years. Yes, exactly. And we've been coming to the Nutcracker market for, we've forgotten how many, but it's over 26. That is fantastic. You're a tried and true vendor. There's always a line in your booth, a Texas-based company with a national fan base. So these tamales are very special. Talk to me about how it all started. Well, it really started in a home kitchen was a family that ate Mexican food all the time, and they started worrying about lard and all of the health benefits, and she started making tamales without lard, and that's where our recipe originally came from. I am blown away. I didn't even know this. This is so fantastic. Gluten-free, right? Yes, gluten-free. All of our products are naturally gluten-free. Okay, well, let's get to it because, again, proof is in the pudding. We want to try it, and you're so much more than just tamales. I know tamales are so hard to make. They're time-consuming. They're delicious. That's why I always outsource them through you guys. But you have so many more before we get to tasting the tamales. What are these things in front? The we sauces? Do. We have sauces. We have our own jalapeno pepper sauce. You want to try? Yes. And we have our Mexican cranberry, which is a wonderful thing this time of the year. And an Mexican appetizer. cranberry, we would obviously have that on our Thanksgiving dinner uh, table, but I would almost want to put this over maybe like a thing of cream cheese. or Cream cheese, and then it's wonderful on a ham sandwich. Ooh, a ham sandwich. What do you think, Mom? Do you like it? Excellent. Well, excellent, excellent. That's very, our favorite very. word. Well, and now we have so many flavors of our tamales, we can suit every taste. What, how many flavors do you have? We have five flavors, six, six flavors now. And what are they? Well, we have beef, pork, chicken, spinach with cheese, a black bean, and a hatch green chili. That's our newest flavor. Oh, I know. Orlando's already texting me. Bring home the hatch green chili. He loves green chili. Um, let's talk about the take and make, because this is how they come this when we buy them here, right? The store. Yes, this is our call to fame is our wonderful cloth bag that holds up so well in the grocery stores and sets us apart. And how do we do it at home? We just stick them in the oven? No, nope. we try to tell people, do not put them in the oven. That can dry them out. Very best way is to steam them. So if you have a vegetable steamer or a colander, but in today's time, we have wonderful microwave instructions. I love a good microwavable product. Okay, Mom, we're going to bring the tamales over here. And um, you also have different sauces. While I bring this over, will you talk about the, um, the hot tamale pepper sauce? I will. The hot tamale try. pepper sauce is a carrot-based pepper sauce. Carrot? Carrot-based. So it has a little bit of natural sweetness in the product. Our cilantro sauce is a wonderful thing for Tex-Mex food, and it makes wonderful cilantro rice. You add a little bit of this to your rice, and you've got a wonderful tasting dish. Oh, it's delicious. We have our chipotle sauce, and we put that in mashed potatoes. Mm. To try it. You'll be amazed. Can I put it on tater tots? I'm asking for a friend. Oh, listen, I'm <laughs> sure that that would work. <laughs> did you put a sauce on these tamales? Because yes, these are did. delicious. That is what we call our chili cheese sauce, and it's a equal part of our queso mix and our beef chili, and it's a wonderful topping for tamales and for nachos. Listen, Shirley, this is so good. I can taste the heart and soul in your tamales and your sauces. Yes. It makes it so happy. It makes me happy to hear the story behind it as well. Well, and we're happy that for all the shoppers here that can come by and get some while they shop. That is right. It's yeah. booth number 1855, and you ship all over the country as well. Yes, we so do. if we like it here, we can ship it to our friends. We certainly can. It makes a wonderful holiday gift. I love it. You're going to take some home, I'm guessing, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Shirley, so much. And Tex, keep me and you. Thank you so much. Mom, thanks for being on Houston Life. Can my somebody pleasure. get my mom a poinsettia? She's dry. Her cup's dry. <laughs> Stay right there. More of Houston Life from the Nutcracker Market when we return. My name's Vanessa. I've been coming here for over eight years, and my fondest memory is just spending time with family, have Woo family coming in from out of town, just to come to the Nutcracker Market. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Love the Nutcracker! <laughs> Woo! 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 Woo!
think the best thing about Christmas is family and support. And so this is our sister time to get together and enjoy the holidays and enjoy each other's company with a little bit of drink. <laughs> a lot of drink. Yes. And don't Maybe get a lot. the festivities. <laughs> but we really enjoy it. It's a family time for us. Yeah. As you can tell. You know, oh. it's all about the shopping, but it really is about making memories it is. with the people you love. And it's so lovely moving through the crowd and having so many great conversations. I love it. What did you think, Joe? Check me out. Right I love now. your new shirt. I got the new shirt. I said I was going to start shopping when I come here, and I started getting me some stuff. I got to get one for Connor. <laughs> I know he's going to. I love the long sleeve. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. Cheers, friend. Cheers to you. Lauren Cheers. Kelly, did you buy the lights? Oh, a, yours is I so bought full. the lights, you, you guys. I did. I bought them for a producer, Erin. She called me. She's like, I need them. I have two young boys. I have to have that. Yes, they are life changing. Yep. And if you need a refill, I've got a very full cup, Courtney. I just I think I'll take yours I, I might too. sip some down and then give some to you. <laughs> <laughs> and I love your mom. I love Miss Eileen. I'm oh, so happy so she's so here. Great to see Eileen. We love having you here. I do too. And it's been so much fun. And can you believe that you're back? Uh, it's it's about time. Right? It's been two long years. Glad to be back. I love it. We are having so much fun. We are saying hi to all the viewers and meeting new friends. Listen, let's take this show on the road again. Yeah. And by the way, Again, we are bookend by the bar in the back. Yeah. Thank you to our right fabulous <laughs> engineering team that set up our stage right here. Coming up Monday on Houston Life, from Sugar Plum Fairies dancing in your head to the infamous Rat King, the Nutcracker is back. That is right. We're going to sit down with a Houston principal ballerina to learn more about this holiday classic for all ages. It is a must-see, and it's a tradition as well. You, know, you guys know I was in the Nutcracker in middle school, but guess which part I was? What? I was a rat. Oh. I was a rat, and I am not over it. That is <laughs> so, so fun. Oh. Again, don't forget to come out to the market. I think we have the details. We can pop up one last time time on your screen. Come out. You'll be glad you did. And thanks so much for joining us today on Houston. Time for more shopping now. Let's do it. Drink up. We'll see you Monday. Have a great weekend. Shop, shop till you drop, guys. Oh Back God. to you yeah. in the studio. Lauren, you would have made a really cute rat, for yes. sure. Oh, I'm sure. Most definitely. Yeah. And, and you know, spe speaking of shopping, hey, can you guys hook a brother up with some merch? I mean, bring, bring me something back. Some of those hey. tamales. Just save a we'll few work for us, on guys. you need. I, I we got those long sleeve shirts like list. Joe has. We got it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's a good one. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't wait for our gift exchange. All right, Hi. yeah, looking forward to it. All right, you guys uh, have a blast out there. Have a great weekend as well.